To the real. On to the real. Oh, you know what? Before we do on to the real, one thing that I have to say, um, we didn't have this down here as a topic, but I just wanted to say it quickly to you know alert folks. We have a summer Olympics every four years. Oh yeah. Finally, the Olympic Committee said that we are going to postpone the Summer Olympics until the summer of 2021. Yeah. As opposed to keeping people in limbo over the next few weeks trying to see if we can still have it this year. So Well you know what? They weren't gonna have nobody there. No, yeah, half of Canada the pulled out. that already <laughs> said I ain't sending nobody. Yeah, Canada my, pulled my out. My athletes is not going. Australia. It was a whole bunch out. of countries. Yeah, it was yeah. a whole bunch of major like the bigger countries right. that was like, uh no, we won't be there. You yeah. can have it if you like, but our athletes won't be making it. Yeah. It was so again socially irresponsible. Yeah. To even linger that long. Like, what right. are you doing? Like, come on, yeah. you just need it. Because it's still some places it hasn't gotten to. It's going to get everywhere. Right. I, I hate to say that, but it will. And there's right. some places it hadn't gotten to. So it's still, by the time the summer comes around, it could be just breaking out somewhere. So what you're going right. to do is have a whole nother world outbreak. Yeah. Bringing all of these people. That makes no sense. Like, yeah. let's figure out how to vaccinate or or at least um cure the people who get it or right. help make sure that they you know what i mean yeah before we start bringing the world back together as a whole that just makes no sense yeah. so yes i'm glad they finally made that decision right yes all right on to the real okay so you know i'm horrible with with pronouncing names kofi kono wiki kono wiki Connor Wiki. That's what we're going to say. It yeah, is. We gonna, we, uh, yeah. That's what we're going with. It's and, probably and all wrong. And it Kobe. probably don't even pronounce it like that. <laughs> that's what we're going to go with. I was, Wiki. I was looking at it and I was thinking, like, is this possibly German where the W is pronounced as a V? Like Connor Vicky? Connor Vicky. Might be. Connor Vicky. He was born in Long Beach, California, so I don't know that that's true for him, but you know, (laughs) maybe his family. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So he was born in Long Beach. He played Mm -hmm. um, soccer at Wake Forest. Um, And then, so he, while he was there, he got a BA in media communications. And then he went on to get an MA in photography from the mm-hmm. University of Arts London. Oh, so, wow. so, and in between there, he, he also happened to be a professional soccer player in Europe. In Europe. Too, mm-hmm. by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, he's our on to the real because I felt like it was really cool that he, the thing that I liked about this story is what Feel to the Real Project is all about because this young man knew he had other gifts and talents. Right. And so what he did was in, while he was given the opportunity to play soccer for Wake Forest, he also took advantage of getting an education that would afford him when soccer was over to go right into what he loved that was outside of soccer. Mm -hmm. More than the sport. We're more than the sport. So yes. For me, I love that he he was well aware. He you know he got a degree in media communications from Wake Forest, which kind of gave him a web of ways to go, and yeah. then to go on and be like, no, photography is where my heart is, and yeah. so he went on and got his master's in that. And so, um, I feel like like that is somebody who was prepared, mm-hmm. understood. And so those are the kinds of people we love to spotlight right. because that's what we want to see every person that is an athlete. And for us with the field to the real project, particularly working with um, football players, mm-hmm. we want to see them know who they are outside of the sport right. from the beginning. So you can take advantage of what's given to you right, and what's being presented to you. That transition is a lot better. Yeah. When, 
you don't only view yourself as a football player. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's a lot harder to, to try to figure out. <clears throat> and some people just pick something. They don't even really make it about who they are. Right. Which is still hard. You know, yeah. you just, you know, you, you yeah. So I just, I, I, that's our hope with Field to the Real Project is to help these young people figure out like who they are outside of the sport so that when mm-hmm. the sport is over, they, they still get to go do something. You're not feeling like, oh, I'm not playing football. I'm not playing this sport anymore and I'm nobody. Mm-hmm. Like you feel like you're excited because the next chapter is something that you love just like you love football. Right. That's what I want to see. Yeah. That's what I want to see. But anyway, so he, um, after he finished playing professional soccer, he turned to photography and um, he, he did it, and he said that, that he was doing it as a way to document the things around him and shed light on different aspects of his identity. And he was selected as a part of the Taylor Wessing for Photographic Portrait Prize in 2016 and 2018. Oh, wow. He was the first ever to be nominated and to have two images nominated, uh, shortlisted for first place. Mm-hmm. The first person to ever have that happen. So this is how you know when you do something you love, it shows. Yeah. And he was able to go and do that. Um, so yeah, he's had a pretty good career. He was selected to be a Red Hook Labs artist in 2018. You know, we don't know these things, but they sound important. Right. <laughs> and has exhibited his work in spaces such as the Rose Gallery in California and the National Portrait Gallery in London. He co-founded a small publication called Moolah Press in 2018 um, to explore his love for bookmaking. Hmm. Oh, wow. So he's just an artist at heart, yeah. basically. He's just an artist at heart. Creator, creative part, a creative person at heart, basically. So, you, know, you know what's so dope about this, too? Like, he, he you know, went and got his master's in um, sports is what afforded him the opportunity Absolutely. To do that, because you were in Europe, right? You have to believe you got your masters while you were probably playing soccer, right? In Europe, so yeah. So for for sports to be able to fund your passion, yeah, um, it's just awesome. Yeah, you know. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was a great story. I thought I was yeah. like, oh, that's cool. Like, and you know, we always looking for the people who are doing things that are outside of so far fetched from what people think an athlete should do. Right. So I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. He uses his, his um, eye to, to, to share with the world what he sees and how mm-hmm. he sees it. That's what I always say about photography. Right. Like that's why I love photographers because their eye is different. Yeah. And they just, the things that we would just take for granted, they'll capture it and then you'll see it and be like, right. Oh, wow. It's like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Like, oh, like, so I love that they have that ability to see beyond just what's normal and ordinary. So kudos to you, Kobe. I'm going to just call you by yeah, your first you name. Yeah, you did. We were just going to call you Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. Kudos, Kobe. Yeah. yeah. Real cool. Okay. All right. Feel good final thought. Now, huh? Thoughts. Feel good final thoughts. Excuse me. Thoughts. <laughs> we got more than one again today. Yeah. Um, and our first one, um, it's special, but it's unfortunate that she didn't get to continue the rest of her collegiate career because we know yeah. uh, with this COVID-19, um, all the sports oh, ended up yeah. being shut down. Right. But Sabrina Ionescu, um, was named the AP's unanimous yeah. player of the year. Oh, unanimous. True. Which, since its inception in 1995, I believe, mm-hmm. there have only been two unanimous players, oh. her and Brianna Stewart from UConn. Wow. Uh, back in 2016. Wow. So they're the not only even two, Maya. Not okay. even Maya. Okay. Only two unanimous players. And so. Um, okay. That's pretty deep. I didn't hear much about her before um, the the tragic passing of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, yeah. um, And we saw that she was, like, very affected by it. And we learned after that that Kobe had been mentoring her. Mm-hmm. 
and that she had taught at a few of the Black Mamba Academy camps. Yeah. And so um, I think this award is fitting. She had Absolutely. a tremendous season. What? A tremendous career. That's what I was going to say, um, career. Yeah. And to have that, uh, the pinnacle of that, unfortunately, why it, it didn't end at an opportunity at a championship, um, it will end with her being in the elite club of someone to win a unanimous AP Player of the Year award. And we haven't seen the last of her. No, no, she'll be in the WNBA. She'll be in the WNBA. Hopefully for this sure. year. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, playing in double headers with the NBA teams. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all do that, y'all better give Jerry his money. That's all right. I, <laughs> I need a commission. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. be like those uh, the owners of the St. Louis Spirit, who are what? still eating off the NBA. Oh. You know, because when the the ABA and the NBA merged, right? They yeah, uh, yeah they, they they worked it out. I ain't to get mad at a them. piece of that TV money for I'm the rest not of. I'm mad at them. Okay. I, me neither. Listen, OP, <laughs> let's work it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, she's. I, I I look forward to seeing. I look forward to her next level. Um, yeah. She, obvious. It's obvious she worked with Kobe. Yes. When you watch her game. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's what made her exceptional, I believe, um, is she was willing to put in the work with him and he really worked with her and got yeah. her to a level that clearly shows that she is an elite basketball player. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, so I look forward to seeing what she does at the next level, honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, it. me too. I, 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 I love I, it. I hate, though, that she wasn't able to finish her career, like, It's okay, so many though. Players. You know what? You know what? She could have gotten hurt. Anything could have happened. You know what? I just have to look at it. Instead of looking at it from that perspective, I look at it like God just giving you more time to get ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? For yeah. your next. Get yeah. it. You know, I told you the other day, I heard incubator. She, she, right. just gets, she gets to be in her incubator, get yeah. ready for her new. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the whole new world is about to open up for her. Right. So. Yeah. 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 So, no. Okay. Who who's our second? Uh, <laughs> Wait. We talked about having two feel good final thoughts. We did. Wait, what was it? And what I didn't. Was, I sent you didn't thing. Type and I it didn't, out. I didn't no, type it out. Did. Never mind. Then I can't remember. Was it? I I don't know. I don't know. I can't look, remember. What I, it was. Look, I was over here looking back. I was like, did, did we say it through text? And I think I was like, no, we no, talked we were about on the it phone. during the meeting. Yeah, and we I didn't write phone. it down. And you were like, why don't we just do them both? Right. I was like, look, we had, we had three last you, week. <laughs> right. Now, it was one I gave you too. So that's what I was like, why don't I remember? Um, I can't remember, Jared. I don't know. I've been having some early mornings, so I don't listen. It's been yeah. a long day. I don't know. I can't remember what it was about. It's okay. We'll use yeah. it next week. We'll, I'm about to say, when we remember it, we'll use it. Uh, we'll next use week. it next week. That's when fine. We, when we remember the uh, <laughs> the uh, the airbase name. <laughs> Holy, oh, like, yeah. oh, Lord, Lord right have street. mercy. Sad. Okay, so my my. Um, it's a, I got two, um, most of the people who, most of the people, well, I'm not going to say that. I have two, two, two options for something to watch. Okay. One's a comedy and the other one's mm-hmm. reality. Okay. Okay. So they're both Netflix shows. Okay. So it's something that's bingeable. So you'll have multiple things you can watch. So yeah. take up a little time, you know? Yeah. Um, so the first one, obviously, I don't know who doesn't at this point know or have not heard about love is blind. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but love is blind is a social experiment uh, about love and whether taking out the factors of physical, like seeing someone physically, and getting to know them on a more intimate, personal level without ever seeing them would make a difference in whether you could actually love someone. Right. Or if adding that back in, the physical, the, the seeing them, 
makes a difference yeah. in whether you could actually love someone. So it was fascinating. Mm. Um, the results were really interesting. Mm -hmm. So if you have not seen it, I would highly recommend that you, it's addictive. Yeah. Every, it, every individual that I've ever told to go watch it, it's like, oh my God, I, <laughs> in, or I couldn't stop or I can't wait. Or, uh -huh. so, um, and then my second recommendation would be what we already talked about, which is all American. All American. Mm -hmm. um, really good show. Um, while it, it centers around football, mm -hmm. the actual story is so much deeper mm -hmm. than the actual game of football. Like football is just kind of what's the foundation of it, but the show is really um, centered around um, classism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna give two as well. Okay, and I'm gonna do a comedy, and um, one is kind of based off of a true story. Mm -hmm. Um, so the the one is based off a true story. First, let me say, rest in peace to John Singleton. Mm -hmm. Um, if you've never seen the show Snowfall. Mm -hmm. I think the reason why I'm so interested in it is because I grew up right in the middle of the cracker mm -hmm. and seeing how crack decimated our communities and then hearing once I got older about the Iran Contra scandal mm -hmm. and seeing how those worlds merged, seeing this play out during the story um, that's told by um, John Singleton and now, you know, the folks who are carrying on that legacy. Right. Um, it's very interesting. You know, it, it's, it humanizes the idea of, you know, selling drugs and the reason, the reasons why some of these young men were doing it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's a good one. Okay. It's three seasons of it and it's on Hulu. It's an FX show. Okay. Actually, okay. both of these shows are FX shows. Okay. Um, but they're, they're on Hulu. Okay. The comedy is a show called Dave. And some people may not have heard of the rapper Little Dicky. Oh, God. He's a white rapper. Right. It's hilarious. Okay. He can actually rap. Okay. But the show <laughs> Don't is about... say it like that. Huh? Don't say it like that. Well, no, so... Uh, you said can actually rap. Don't no, he can... Act, no, I'm saying he can actually Just, rap because, because his whole thing is gimmicky. Yeah. Like his whole, his whole. The show uh, is kind of silly. Yeah, it's like a silly yeah. show, but even even his raps like are gimmicky and like uh -huh. silly and stuff like that. But <clears throat> he can he, actually, he can actually rap. rap. Yeah. And so the show just kind of, um, I think it's loosely based on his life, talking about how he was able to get into the rap game, and every episode, a different. Um, hip hop artist makes a cameo. It's like one episode, Young Young Thug is in one episode. Uh, okay. YG is in another episode, and so it, it's it's pretty funny. Both of those shows okay. are on Hulu. Um, I think it's only five episodes of that show. Okay. It's about thirty minutes a piece. So. Okay. It's a good two and a half hour binge. <laughs> right. Hey, listen. Anything to help. Anything right. to help you guys. <laughs> to pass it along. We're here. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All um, right, party people. Yes. As always, we certainly appreciate you guys for listening, um, yeah. for interacting with us. <clears throat> um, certainly keep in touch with us on IG, on Twitter at Fields of the. Uh, at Field to the Real. At Field to the Real. Um, if you want to hit us in our email, fields to the real at gmail.com. Um, and just keep interacting with us. Like, we appreciate you, uh, Brian. You know what I'm saying? One of the first people to uh, <laughs> ever say anything. Right. Well, nah, We've had a really couple right. of people here and there, but not really. So, yeah. Well, yeah, we would love for you all to like really interact with us. And, and yeah. if you, like I said, if I posted uh, on IG. Mm -hmm. um earlier um just you know if you want to see us right <laughs> youtube channel you know what i mean like yeah. yeah you get to see us do this if you if you prefer i know one individual that i won't say a name likes to watch not 
listen. So mm -hmm. oh yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I, and, and I thought that too. Like I thought folks would prefer like to see, mm -hmm. which is why I was so intent about finding a uh like a medium way to make those video, that, yeah. Right, for it to be audio and video. But but you know, it's okay. People are gonna pick up on it. You yeah. know what I mean? And the beautiful thing is it's there no matter what right they can go back and look at it from we can be doing this for 10 years and they can come they can back and, and see this episode this. right here right. you know what i mean so yeah yeah so yeah. beautiful that's the beautiful thing about it so yeah we just yeah. we appreciate y'all like like i said you know yeah however you want to however you want to interact with us we good with it we just yeah. want you to interact we just yeah. want you to listen we want you to look we want right. you to whatever you <laughs> however so yeah, so yeah. we hope that this is entertaining as well as informative. That's our goal. Yes. Um, and so yeah, we'll just be here again next week. I guess. <laughs> right, with some, with some, <laughs> with a whole new show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, peace. Peace. Now put the cameras on me. 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 Are you a part of a college football program? Is your program preparing you for what you are purpose to do when football is over? No worries. We have you covered. The Fields of the Real Project assists college athletes in discovering purpose off the field. Contact us at fieldstotherreal at gmail.com to schedule a meeting with the administrators of your school's football program. Let's work on your future as you go from the field to the real.